Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are back in Dawn of Zombie Survival. Hope you guys are well, hope you guys are enjoying the game. Alrighty, so, been a while since I've played this one, but finally, and the reason why that I haven't been posting uh, Dawn Survival is because I've been wanting to get this guy fixed and get it all set up. So, <laughs> we're gonna get right into it. So, finally, I have found all the necessary pieces required and this is going to give us the ability to now finally uh, operate the bicycle and modify it and do all that sort of good stuff and especially in pre preparation for the updates that are coming um, the bike is going to be vital so hope finally that I've done it now we can get um, everything moving forward and sorted out with it and um, yeah we can start to go to certain locations that are specific to the bicycle so we can finally get out to the engineers post and all that sort of stuff so yeah without delaying it any further we're going to um, put all the bits and pieces in and let's get that there let's get that the balls were a pain but the chain links were even um, more of a pain as well for me it was so annoying but that doesn't matter because now it is built. <laughs> hey, there we go. So yeah, this is it. I've actually got some grease as well. Um, we've got our little trunk here. So you can only take an extra two slots for now, but I think with upgrades and things like that later on, you can actually uh, upgrade it further along, which is uh, going to be good. But there's certain things that you need. So you need to find um, certain materials and use these to upgrade. So yeah, basically you won't be able to do it right away. Uh, spray paint, I believe a lot of people say that if you do find it, it's really not, um, or the decal, sorry, really not a necessity right now. Or I don't know if it's in game, to be honest with you. But things like I'm gonna have to go back into the warehouse to get and retrieve a couple of bolts here and there. So I'm gonna need a total of, I think it was, yeah, six bolts, which is gonna be an absolute pain. But for everything else, I can pretty much um, upgrade here as well. Uh, the wheels, now I think I've got the upgraded chassis. I'm not too sure. I know I've got a few things in here, but let's go ahead and pop all these things back because now we don't really need them. Just for the sake of doing that. Didn't need that by the end of it, so that's fine. I'm not too sure if I've got anything here, but... Let's have a quick look and hopefully I'll be able to modify something today for you guys but so far it doesn't look, well I've only got the medical kit for that so I don't know if I can use that yet but we'll, we'll check it out. Uh, okay so I've, I've got the crossbow here. See, I don't think I can do any of this until I upgrade those initial slots. And I think that's what's going to have to happen before I do any of that, to be honest with you. Yeah. So if I go to my bike here. Yeah, see, it's not going to allow me to do anything right now. So, yeah, what do you do? Alright. But, oh, no, no, no. Let's drop these things back. Let's see if we can find some available slots here. Okay. So I think what I can do actually is if I take that, I should be able to upgrade this bad boy here. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> oh well, alright, well there you go. So I really wanted to upgrade this foundry so I can start making iron ingots so that's the next thing I need to do but when doing that I need the chain links again so I just I just wasted all of my chain links but I got the bike so that's that's the main part anyway so I've got the blocks I need to get more of these sprockets here and the rebar is not going to be an issue but this is going to be the problem here so finding uh, additional chain links so okay so that's not too bad drop some of these back in here anyway and we'll um, get going on a little adventure. Maybe I'll take the bike with me. I don't know whether or not if it's going to be a, a waste in doing so, but uh, we'll see. And what was I looking 
useful. There we go. No, 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 no. I equip that, drop that. And I think we'll be okay for now. And we got a little zombie over here. Okay, so we are safe. I guess probably the best thing to do with this at the moment is... I don't want to use it just yet, unless if there's like an engineer's post. If an engineer's post pops up, then I'll go ahead and use it because then I know that it's, um, it's going to be worth using it because I've never been to the engineer's post, I guess. I think that's probably the best way of doing it. Um, then you've got the mysterious basement over here. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. I'll need to get some throwing rocks because I know I haven't got any um, on me, that is. But I know I've got some in my inventory, so... Uh, excuse me, a little bit of a burp there, but... <laughs> um, Alright, let's get back in. Let's find those rocks. And I better eat something. And let's have a look, where do I have those rocks? I know I've got some rocks here. There we go. Okay. Alright, so let's set out, and we'll go ahead and do the mysterious base, and possibly on the way back, I'll, oh, there you go, there's the engineer's post. Wow, okay, so she's pretty far away, and it's going to take 22 degrees to ride over there. I don't have that, you know what, I won't be able to do it, because I've only got 17, so that's not good. Alright, so... What I'll probably do, end up doing is, if the engineer's post ever becomes closer, because it usually it populates around here, and it shouldn't take as much to um, to go over. So we'll, we'll see how that works out. But I'm gonna have to get a lot more grease because right now I don't have um, a sufficient amount. If you guys could let me know in the comments where to find grease, that'd be helpful. Um, if there's any like hot spots or anything like that, definitely let me know in the comments because I'll be interested. Uh, to know, but yeah, I'm gonna have to start going back into the warehouse as well now. Um, we've sort of gone off the Lucas base, uh, sorry, Lucas uh, recordings and his little quest line there. So I'll eventually do that, don't get me wrong, guys, it, it'll happen. Um, I'm gonna have to swap over to that and let's just take out the Firefly. Oops. Veggies here, so what we've got uh, the wheat and the grass seeds. And you know what? I'm gonna leave those. Check out the firefly. What do you have here? Take those. Thank you very much. Nothing here. And what do we have here? Well, level up, which is always good. Got a gear. Would have been nice if a bike sprocket. Not gonna lie to you, but doesn't matter. Alright, so what I'll probably end up doing is I'll quickly head over to the uh, is it the Scorchlands? We've got the besieged house and that's another thing I want to do and show you guys as well. Um, but I'll be at a higher level with that and I'll, I'll explain in a minute. Uh, sorry, the iron wastelands. So yeah. I want to do the besieged house as well and show you guys, but because I've gone over level 30, the um, uh, the game level has also increased as well, and, and therefore uh, enemies, hit points, attack power, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to have to sort of reevaluate uh, re reevaluate that and sort of set out accordingly. But I will do it, and I will show you guys eventually um, when I get that opportunity to do so. But um, the reason why that I've gone here is on the way back, I want to find some more bike links if I can. And basically what I usually do here is I just sort of... Because normally when I come in here, I, I essentially just... Um, oops. I essentially um, loot up the whole place, try and get a lot, tre uh, a lot more trees, planks, things like that, uh, stone, uh, iron scraps and things like that. So um, I try and do that 
you know, normally off camera, so I'm not going to do that today. But usually, if I just want to do a quick, a quick run, I normally just go straight towards the middle, find the boxes available, and some of the boxes may or may not contain the bicycle chain lock. Um, other times they do, which is great, and I just take it and I'm out of there. I don't bother about going um, around and you know, looting up anything else or everything else, so to speak. And then I go to the uh, Quiet Grove and do the exact same thing. And, you know, two counts on that, just to save uh, durability on my armor and um, uh, weapons as well. And obviously the use of heals and whatnot as well, so it's purely the only reason why I thought I'd do that. Um, alright, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to have any success here, which is not good at all. No, but I've got a repair kit. Um, okay. Don't think I'm going to have any luck over here. Because that's all the bits and pieces here that I could have um, opened up, to be honest with you. So, oop. let's just take out you. I think that box there, maybe, if I'm lucky. We'll check it out. the junk. Nothing. Alright, so that's pretty much it. And then all that I do here is I'll quickly skip over to the quiet grove and do the exact same thing. So I've got the resources, I shouldn't have a problem with this. Um, do I have food? I do not. So let's quickly go in here and take some of that. And just get some energy back up. I actually quite like that feature. I don't think any game has that where you can eat certain foods or um, ingest certain items and your energy will increase. But everything is energy based. So it does make the game a little bit more challenging, which, which I really do enjoy. So. Yeah, it's actually um, a, a nice little point of difference to the other survival games that you, you know, could be playing as well as this. Uh, so let's just take these guys out and just head in. And I'll we'll just take that and that and I'll take that with me. Right, there's a the car, that's what I want. Usually the, the car has it or the boxes around. The vicinity. Well, got the oil, which is good. Uh, Every little bit helps at the end of the day. And sometimes these boxes here do have it. All the ones in the shed, or you can find your luck if you go downstairs and try to go downstairs as well. Right, so let's just check out the, the, the old box of junk here. so far into, into the video here and I haven't even explained as to why that I wanted to do that. Um, and I want the iron ingots. Why? Because when I go to craft better weapons like the crowbar, that's what I want to get and that looks to be one of the cheapest items that you can craft yourself or you might want to use the, the cleaver which I'm currently using at the moment. So yeah, that's basically where that's at and that's the reason why that I want to uh, get myself um, the anvil upgraded so I can do that. Take the spring. Actually, I'll just take that with me anyway. Check out the 
garbage over here. And this is the last ditch, but you won't get anything. Usually you just get those um, alcohol wipes, which are good. Get some pants. Oh, I'm full. Okay. Uh, what can I do here? Can I say goodbye to? Um, yeah, I've got quite a number of those flux seeds, so I'll take that. and yeah, we'll probably end up calling a video. Um, go. Grab all those. Take that. And he's over here. There he is. <laughs> Alright, so that's it guys. Um, look, as always, appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video. Uh, let me know by hitting the like button if I did well on that one. Or uh, leave a comment. Um, again, as I said, um, any hotspots for those um, those little grease, uh, let me know, please. Would be much appreciated. Um, but also, if you guys are new to the channel, enjoying the content that I make here, um, don't forget to check out um, all the other survival games that I am playing um, through my playlist, through my channel, and um, hit the subscribe button, notification bell if you guys are new. Anyway, I'm out of here, and I will catch you next time.